Good morning, teacher. Good morning, Tulsi. What happened to you? Hmm. Um, actually, I broke my arm. How did this happen? I was chasing my brother on the staircase, so I slipped and fell. Tulsi, you shouldn't run on the steps. You should only walk up and down the steps. Look yes, at you teacher. Now. Yes, I know. It must be so painful. Yes, it's very, very painful. Oh I'm God. so sorry, teacher. Please sit down, Tulsi. Please sit down. Be careful. And good, good morning, good teacher. Good morning, Hanif. Look at you. And what happened yeah. to your hand? I, uh, I, uh, I, I got, it, it, it got electrocuted. Electrocuted? Yeah. How did that happen, Hanif? I was uh, playing with a screwdriver at the socket. Hanif, it is very dangerous. You shouldn't play with the electricity or the sockets. Look at your arm now. Yeah, it's painful, teacher. It looks painful. Please be very careful. And Tulsi, you shouldn't run up and down the steps. You should only walk up and down the steps. You shouldn't play with your brother running, chasing and all on the steps. And Hanif, you shouldn't play with the sockets. Remember. All right. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. We understand. We understand. Dede TV KPM. Assalamualaikum and a very good day everyone. How is everyone doing at home? I might not be doing so well because my hand is, my arm here is in so much pain. I got myself electrocuted. Why? Because I played with a socket. Oh no, we should not be doing that. And welcome, welcome. You're watching Didet TV KPM. And today on our level two slot, we are learning English. And my name is Hanif Sean. Welcome back. And thank you for always being loyal, watching us here. And again, just a short reminder to you, always, always maintain and practice good SOPs by keeping your hands clean, by wearing your face mask, as well as practicing social distancing between yourself and the next person of at least one meter. And of course, you have seen both our teachers today and one was also injured while the other, she was making sure that all of us are safe. And our teachers are Miss Anjana Prem Kumajut from SK Puchong Utama Dua Puchong Selangor, as well as Miss Tulsi Viswanathan from SK1 Batu Empat Jalan Ipoh, Kuala Lumpur. Hello, teachers. Hello. Hi. 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 How, are you, how, how, how are you, Miss Tulsi? Today, you seem to have been injured. Yes. You're doing Feeling good. better now. You're feeling better now. And how are you, Miss Anjana? I am good. And right. always remember to be safe at home. Always be safe at home. That's very important for our friends at home there. And tell us a bit, what are we going to learn today? Today, uh, today we are going to learn a topic on uh, being safe and healthy. So we're we'll looking at things that you should do and shouldn't do at home. Right, especially at home. Oh, that's very important. How do we stay safe and healthy, especially at home? And it's not just the three of us here in the studio. We also have other people online. Can I see your happy faces? Wave at us. Uh, all of you seem very excited. I'm going to mention your names one by one and please introduce yourself. First, we would have from SK Convent Sentosa to Kuala Lumpur, Joshna. How are you, Joshna? Hi. I'm good. My name is Joshna. I am from SK Convent Sentul Satu, Kuala Lumpur. Nice to meet you, Joshna. Next, we'll have Arish from SK Puchong Utama Dua, Puchong Selangor. Hello, Arish. Hi. My name is Arish Edris Bin Ewan Azrin. You can call me Arish and I from, I am from SK Puchong Utama Dua. Nice to meet you, Arish. And next, we have from SJKT Segambo, we have Kavya. Hello, Kavya. <laughs> Hi, my name is Kavya. I'm 
Kavya. Nice to meet you, Kavya. Next, we have Zarfan. Zarfan is from SK1 Batu Empat, Jalan Hi. Ipoh, Kuala Lumpur. Hi, my name is Muhammad Zarfan Aziz Ben Jamaluddin. I am from SK1 Batu Empat, Jalan Ipoh. You can call me Zarfan. Nice to meet you, Zarfan. And our last two pupils, we are from SRA Kinabutan Tawa Sabah. They are Rabiatu. How are you, Rabiatu? I'm fine. I'm fine. Hi, my name is Rabia Tul Nur Insira binti Erwin. I'm from SRA Kinabutan Kecil Tawang. You can call me Rabia Tul. Nice to meet you. And last but not least, from the same school, we have Sarah. How are you, Sarah? Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm good. I'm from SRA Kinabutan Kecil Tawang. You can call me Sarah. Nice to meet all of you. I appreciate the energy and all your beautiful smiles today. And of course, our teachers. So you mentioned that we would like to learn about how do we stay safe and healthy at home. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell us a bit about what are we going to achieve today together. Okay. Let's see. Right. I believe there's a lot of objectives that we're going to achieve together. Uh, okay. There it is. We have two objectives today. By our end of the lesson, pupils must be able to first construct sentences using should or shouldn't based on the pictures given. And the second objective is complete the closed text using the words or phrases given. Right? Okay, shall we start the lesson? Yes, please. So we have two. Uh, there are two keywords that we need to yes. always hold on here, which yes. is should. Should. Ms. Anjana is showing you should. And we also have should, shouldn't, or should shouldn't. not, shouldn't. Shouldn't. Right. Okay. Okay, let's go to the lesson. Oh, okay, interesting. Okay, first, I would like to introduce the word should. Okay? Should is a model verb. So, a sh the word should is used to give advices. Okay? Normally, we use uh, should to give good or positive advices to someone. Okay, now let's go to the example of sentences all using right. should. Before we go to the examples, okay, I'm sure all I of mean... us are excited to know how do we use should to give good or positive feedback to others. Make sure you stay tuned with us always on DDAT TV KPM because we're going to have a, just a short break, okay? So do not go anywhere because you should be with us after this. We'll see you later. Fire sets more than 20,000 fires every year. It causes an average of 150 deaths and nearly 1,000 injuries every year. Welcome back to DDAT TV KPM. You're with me, Hanif Sean, and today on our level two slot, we are learning together English. And the topic is to stay safe and stay healthy, especially if you're at home. And if I may add a bit, please always have a strong... Okay, we're learning actually should and shouldn't. So you must, you should have a strong willpower to learn. Why? Because learning should be lifelong. <laughs> Not bad, eh? For a quick five seconds thought over there. All right, I'm actually joined by my two teachers. They are Miss Anjana and Miss Tulsi. And we also have six students online, which I'm sure they're all very excited to be with us today. And Miss Tulsi, right before our break, we were learning about the word should. And you did mention that it's, good, it's a good way for us to give a good or positive feedback. Yes, definitely. So, um, we start with the word should. Okay, should is actually a word that is used as an advice to give a positive advice to someone. Right. Okay. And you know what, Ms. Tulsi? We should sanitize our hands, don't yes, we? Because definitely. we always want to maintain our SOPs. So if I may start first, I would like to invite our teachers, Ms. Anjana, to also sanitize her hands. And if I can get your help to pass the sanitizer over to Ms. Tulsi. 
Yes, and for my friends at home, please ensure that you sanitize your hands and you cover around your fingers as well as up to both wrists. Very important because you should be safe. Continue, Mr. Ulsi. Okay, next I would like to introduce you the sentences using should. So we have a few examples that we're going to have a look together. All right, what do we have right now? Are we going to talk about... Ah, yes. There it is. The first model verb that is should. Right? Now, how do we use should in a sentence? Whenever there is a word should, in front of should, you should have a subject. And after should, there would be a base verb. Right. Let's look at the first situation given here. Okay, number one. I feel thirsty. Okay, what do you do when you feel thirsty? I would Hanif? drink water. Yes, we will drink water. So, how do you use the word should to tell that you to give an advice to drink water? So, here over here, you should drink water. So, over here, you is a you is the subject followed by should and also the verb that is drink. Okay, next we go to the second situation. He has a test tomorrow. So, what kind of advice you can give to him? Yes, Miss Anjana? Would you like to try? Um, you should study for, for your test tomorrow. Yes, he has to study. He should study for his test tomorrow. Okay, the third situation here. Next week is my mother's birthday. Hmm. Okay, how about students in Google Meet? Uh, any students who would like to try? So what would you like to say to Anyone that person? Anyone would like to try? Any volunteers? Any pupils out there? You can carry out your there? hand. You can volunteer. So the question is, what would the advice be? Uh, Kavya, Reyes. Yes. Okay. What would your advice be, Kavya? Kavya? What is your advice, Kavya? Next week is my mother's birthday. You should get her a present. Okay, good. Excellent. Well done. So, Teacher Anjana is giving you two stars. Wow, wonderful, okay. Kavya. And Miss Dulce, if I may interrupt you, in another two weeks will actually be my birthday. Wow. Should I get a present? <laughs> of course. <laughs> Should I get a present? Yes, definitely. Everyone deserves three stars if you say yes there. <laughs> Sorry, please continue. Okay. Next, we would, I would like to go to the word model verb shouldn't. Okay, shouldn't is also a model verb and it is used to give advice too. But it is only used to give negative or a, a bad advice. I mean, mm. for, for bad situations sometimes. Okay, okay, now let's go to the example of sentence or situation. Okay, shouldn't. Okay, so when you look at here, when you use shouldn't, you have to use with the subject in front and a base verb after the model verb shouldn't. Okay, let's look at the first situation. My eyes are tired. Okay, Aww. now your eyes are tired. What should you do? I think that person should rest the person's eyes. Or... Yes, when your eyes are tired, your eyes need some rest, rest right? So over here, you shouldn't watch a lot of television, right? So, But next. I have to say, you should watch d -Date TV because that's where you're going to continue learning. At yes, least. sure, definitely. Okay, number two. The second situation, his car is always on repair. So, students, pupils, sorry. What you should do? Huh, do we have anyone who wants to try? Anyone wants to try? Can any... we have any raise of hands? Would you like to try? His car is always on repair. Hmm. Maybe Arish? So what kind of advice we can give him? Arish? What do you think your advice would be, Arish? If you know someone who has a car... Who's on that repair? That is always requiring repairs. Any other? Any other pupils? Anyone want to try? No, Rabiatu looks very focused. Would you like to try, Rabiatu? Rabiatu? Yes. Would you like to try? His car is always, always on repair. What he should do with the car? What do you say um, to him? You, you should? What type of advice that you can give him? 
Uh, I think uh, I think they're okay. all still absorbing, <laughs> yeah. absorbing this should and shouldn't. It's what okay. do you think will be the answer, Miss Dulce? Okay, he shouldn't buy the old car. Shouldn't right? Buy he that shouldn't old car. buy the old car. That so is that true. is why it's always on repair. If you buy a new car, then maybe it won't have any repair, right? Right. Okay, okay. next we go to the third situation. She slipped and fell at the field. Oh no. It must have been painful. Yes. So, anyone wants to try? So what? what type of advice? What kind of advice you can give to a person who slipped and fell at the field? Mm, what shouldn't she do? What she shouldn't do, yes. To avoid this. Come. Oh yes, we have Kavya. Alright, go ahead Kavya. Yes, Kavya. She shouldn't wear slippers. Yes, definitely. Mm. Excellent. She shouldn't wear slippers. slippers. So, what you should wear Kavya? You should wear sports shoes. Yes, ah, very good. good. <laughs> well done. Brilliant. Shall we give you should three wear stars? A? Yes, we can give her three stars. Well, well done, done Kavya. Kavya. Well done. Okay, so we have already seen the sentences, the situation for should and shouldn't, right? Okay, next, uh, before we go to the exercise or the task, I would like to ask you something, Hanif. Sure, um, Mr. Wilson. I heard that you are very active in Zumba, right? I am a Zumba instructor as well. Oh, that's very interesting. So, what kind of shoes do you wear for Zumba? What kind of shoes do I wear? I love to dance, I love to do Zumba. Okay. I have to make sure that my shoes is they're comfortable. Uh -huh. And my preference would definitely be sports shoes. Sport shoes. Not and, sports shoes, not and slippers. Why? And why do you wear sports shoes and not slippers? Why sports shoes, not slippers? Sports shoes give me a good grip on my ankles. Ah yes, and it's not slippery. Yes, so I don't want definitely. to fall. Definitely, yes, yes. It's not slippery, right? Okay, and you don't fall. I don't so fall. So you will uh, try to avoid some accidents, right? That is true. To stay safe, right? Okay, good. Okay, next we would like to go to a task that is related to should and shouldn't. Okay, the task is, look at the pictures, construct sentences using should or shouldn't. Now, let's go to the first picture. All right. So, my friends at home, you are excited, you are ready to be tested a bit. Uh, get ready, okay, the question now, is coming. The uh, pupils in Google see? Meet. Uh, do not forget the mini whiteboard. Yes, they definitely. Have. The pupils in Google Meet, please, Prepare your whiteboard, the mini whiteboard. Get ready with your mini whiteboard and your marker pens. And the pupils out there, okay, please get ready maybe a A4 paper or something for you to write the answers. Yes. Right? Get your pens, get your pencils ready because get ready. this is when you would like to join to answer the questions by Miss Dulcie right now. So, what's our first question, Miss Dulcie? Okay, Dulce? let's look at the first picture. The first okay. picture? Oh. Oh my God. Oh dear, what at one point it looks here? delicious. But then I realized the flies <laughs> there. Yes, there are a lot no. of flies. A lot there. of food, but full of flies. So this is an unhygienic food. Mm. Right? Okay. So now let's complete the sentence using the model verb and mm. also the verb. Okay, here over here, I buy unhygienic food. So which model verb is most suitable? Is it should or shouldn't? Hmm, and do don't forget to add in the verb. Right? Okay, over here, teacher Anjana, would you like to try? Of course. I think the answer should be... Uh, I shouldn't buy unhygienic food. Hmm. Yes, exactly. I shouldn't buy unhygienic food, right? Okay, we next. Don't want, we don't want to have any stomach ache. Yes, yes. definitely. Yes, yes, and some food poisoning, right? That is true. Okay. That is true. Next, we go to the next picture, the second picture. So what's our second picture? Ah, oh. Okay, I would like to ask Joshna. Joshna, what can you see in the picture? Um, it's a man. Okay, it's a man. So, what else? Uh, what? He's wearing a mask. Yes, definitely. He's wearing a mask, right? Mask. So now, you have to complete the sentence using should. The model verb should or shouldn't. Can you complete the sentence, Joshna? Hmm. Yes. 
I should wear a mask. Yes, mm. definitely. And where's your whiteboard, mini whiteboard? Can you show us the answer? Okay. Joshna should be writing the answer. Should yeah, please write down it? the answer and show us in your whiteboard. Uh, she's writing it down now. Okay, I can see that you're doing it very quickly, Joshna. You're racing with time. So I should wear. I should wear, wear a face mask. Is that right? Her answer. Yes. I should wear a face mask. Well done, well done, Joshna. Wow. Okay, three, three stars, stars for, for you. you. Good job, three Joshna. Stars. Okay, next. All right. What's our next question? The next picture. Ooh. Huh? What is this? Ooh. Maybe Rabiatol. Rabiatol, are you there? Would you like to try? What can you see here, Rabiatol? Hmm. A fire. Fire. Yes. That very good. Okay. So, let's complete the sentence. I, with the model verb should or shouldn't. Children. Okay, can you write down the answer on your whiteboard? Write down the full and sentence. And please construct the sentence, the full sentence. And I will show our friends at home as well are also constructing the sentences. Write yes. down and check yourselves because if you get the right answer, I'm sure Miss Anjana will also give you three stars. All of us are gathering stars today. Right, Rabiatu, are you ready to show your answer? Can we yes. see your answer, Rabiatu? Ah, what did she write there? I, I shouldn't, shouldn't touch the fire. Okay, ah. good. Well done. Good try. Oh, sorry. I shouldn't touch the fire. Okay, you could also say it as I shouldn't play, play with fire, right? Good, Rabiatu, excellent. Can, can you bring your answer up again? Huh? Can, can you just show your answer again? Rabiato? Can you show can your answer, answer again? Camera? Oh, but I did see this though. Oh. Is that, was that spelled right? Oh, yes. Okay. Ah. The spelling of shouldn't. Look at the spelling. Okay, the correct spelling is shown by teacher Anjana. It's S-H-O-U-L-D and apostrophe T. So, please correct your spelling. But anyway, well done, Rabiatul. You have tried your best. Thank yes. you. Good job, Rabia. Okay, okay, next picture. What's our next photo there? Ooh. Oh. Oh, very sharp tools. How I'm about Zarfan? Bones. Zarfan? What can you see here, Zarfan? Knife. Ah, oh, knives, mm. yeah. And also mm. other sharp objects, right? Like scissors, razors. Yes. Okay, now, would you like to solve? Would you like to construct this sentence? Using should or shouldn't? Hmm. Yes. Yes, Zarfan, you can write down the answer. You can write your answer and hmm. show us while constructing your sentence. So at home, there are all these utensils, there are these tools, yes. and we have scissors, this, we have Yes, knives. we have a lot of sharp, sharp objects at home. Yes, blades. So children and pupils need to be very careful be handling very, all very these careful. objects. Yes, that is right. Okay, Zarfan, if you handle are you ready? Them, if you handle them, make sure you have your parents with you. So you can learn to be very cautious to do it together. Huh? Yes. Sharing his answer. Okay, I... I show them play with knife. Okay, can you show your answer again, Zarfan? Can I you... show them play with knife. Please show your whiteboard. Yes, carry your whiteboard up. Well I done. I shouldn't play with knife. Okay, good. Well done. Okay. Good so, job, how many stars would you like to give him, Teacher Anjana? Okay, good. Well, it's three stars for you, Zarfan. Wow. And many of our pupils here are getting a lot of stars right now. And I'm sure you are excited to get more stars. And my friends at home as well, all of you are counting stars. One, two, three, four, five. So many stars that we're getting. And we're just going to take a short break because there are more stars to be given out after our short break, all right? So get your pens ready, have a quick drink of water and stay with us on d TV KPM.
TV KPM. This video helps make the proper hand washing technique more memorable for little hands. So wet those hands and apply some soap. It's time for my big song. Rub the palms, one, two. Rub the knuckles, one, two. Rub the insides of your fingers and the back of them too. Rub the thumbs, one, two. And the nails, one, two. Now time to rinse. Happy clean hands for you. For I love that song. It's a very good song for all of us. Why? Because today in Level 2 English, we are learning about staying safe and healthy. And with me, I have two teachers and they are Miss Tulsi as well as Miss Anjana. And before our break, we have been testing our pupils online as well as you at home on how do we use should and shouldn't with some photos as examples. Isn't that right, Miss Tulsi? Yes, yes. exactly. And we have more Yes, test. definitely. We'll continue with our sentence construction using should and shouldn't. Now, let's go to the next picture. We have more pictures here to guess. Okay. Ooh. So, who shall I call? How about Sarah? Sarah? You ready, Sarah? Are you ready? Okay. I'm ready. What can you see here in this picture, Sarah? Food. Again, Sarah? Food. 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 Okay. What type of food is this? I don't know. You is can it see lots of healthy or unhealthy. Is it, yes. Is it healthy or unhealthy? Some of them are healthy and some of them are not. Some of them are <laughs> okay. unhealthy. Oh, you we can see something unhealthy. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Maybe she feels there are some healthy and unhealthy food. That is true. Okay. Let's see. Okay, this is a healthy food. You can see lots of fruits, fruits over fruits. there. Okay, fruits are normally very healthy. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, Sarah, can you try to construct the sentences using should and shouldn't with this, okay. unhealth, for, with this healthy food? All right, Sarah is writing it down. Yes, and, please write it. And Miss Tulsi, I think before our show, we had a conversation. This is what we're looking at is healthy food. I was just telling you that I really crave for nasi lemak. <laughs> should I eat nasi lemak or shouldn't I eat nasi lemak? Oh, I think no. it, nasi lemak is a healthy breakfast because it contains all the vitamins, minerals and carbohydrates and protein too, right? Mm. So I think it's a, it's a very healthy food. But maybe you should not take every day. Not take every day. Take in yeah. moderation. And mm -hmm. our friend Rabia too, she already has her answer. I should eat healthy food. Okay. Hmm. The answer is I should eat healthy food. Okay. Can you say your answer, Rabia too? Can you say it out? Hey, sorry, not Rabia too. Sarah, right? Oh, sorry, sorry, Sarah. Oh, sorry, dear. Sarah. <laughs> we so got sorry, confused. Sarah. Can you read out your answer, Sarah? I should eat healthy food. Hmm. Okay, that's good. Well done. Okay, how many stars shall we give that? Give her, Teacher Anjana? Wow. Okay, three stars. Wow. Well done, Sarah. Well done, Sarah. Well done, Sarah. Okay, next we go to the next picture, the last. Last picture. Yes. Oh. The final picture. Uh -huh. Ah. Who would like to try this? Anyone? Any volunteers? Yes, so yes, we have Georgia Ms. Kavya. Okay. Who should we choose? Kavya? Kavya? Kavya. Yes, definitely right. Kavya. Kavya, what can you see here, Kavya? Oh, she's ready to write her answer right away. Shoes. Shoes, yeah. What type of shoe is this? Sport shoes. Sport shoes, yes. People are wearing sport shoes. Okay, now let's see. Can you construct the sentence using should and shouldn't? Thank you. Okay, try. Please write down the, your answer on the mini whiteboard. Alright, while well, Kavya is writing down her answer, that's what I wear for my Zumba classes. Me too, when yeah. I go for jogging. When you go for jogging, very yes. important. And I'm sure you too as well, Miss Anjana. Of course. Yes. Wear your sports shoes when you do sports. It's already called sports shoes, isn't it? <laughs> Alright, Kavya, do you have your sports. answer? Oh, okay, she's still... 
very diligently writing and I'm sure our friends at home are also writing very fast, racing with Kavya to race against time. But don't worry, learning is not rushing. Do it at your own pace, but do it well. That's very important. Definitely. And are you ready with your answer, Kavya? She's still writing. I love the focus in her eyes, this laser okay. Can we see your answer, focus. Kavya? <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you read it out? You should always wear sport shoes. You should always wear sport shoes. Wow. Excellent. Good. Okay. We should get stars. So, how many stars shall we give her? Oh, wow. You get three stars from teacher Anjana. Wow. You're a well star, done. Kavya. <laughs> All of them are stars today. All of you are stars. Very yes. well done. Yeah. So, we're done with our first exercise then. Yes, definitely. We are done with our first exercise. And we have learned how to use should and shouldn't in a proper way in a sentence. That is true. Okay. And now, my friends at home, you should be able to use should and shouldn't the right way. Wow, there's a lot of should and shouldn't going on. <laughs> okay, what do we have next? Okay, now I'll pass the lesson to teacher Anjana. All right. Thank you, teacher Tulsi. Okay, before we move on to the next one, I before we move on to the next one, I have a scenario here for you, Hanif. Hmm. Okay, what do you have to... What do I have to? Do I have to do what something? You, you, okay, let's say you are very hungry. Hmm. Okay, I and was. your stomach is growling. Okay, and you just had your Zumba practice. Mm. And you walk out. You mm. see a lot of stalls out there. Mm -hmm. And your favorite is Bob Fried Chicken. Oh, no. Okay, as you're nearing the stall, mm -hmm. you see a lot of flies. And the food is not covered. And what would you do? Oh, no, but I am so hungry. So. Should I buy that fried chicken or shouldn't you I buy, buy the fried should chicken? You? I or think shouldn't? I shouldn't buy the fried chicken because the food is not clean. Exactly, shouldn't. Hanif. Ah. You shouldn't buy the food from a dirty stall because it can cause you stomach problem. Mm. Okay, let's look at our next slide. Okay, uh, today we'll be looking at a few words, a few words or phrases. The first one would be clean and healthy. Clean and healthy. Okay, pupils there. Could you see the, the phrase there? Clean and healthy. Okay, the second one would be food and beverages. Mm. Food and beverages. Uh, pupils out there. Uh, Arish, maybe? Could you tell me what do you understand by food and beverages? Uh, I I know what is clean food is. Okay, clean what is healthy? Like food, like rice and vegetable. Very good, very good, uh, Arish. So Arish told us the meaning of clean and healthy. So clean and healthy is a uh, food which you can eat, uh, rice, vegetables, which gives you uh, good health. Okay, and food and beverages, food. The food which you eat and beverages are the drinks yes. mm. that you take. Okay, let's look at the next word. Well-being. Well-being. Okay, well-being is a state where you are happy, you are healthy mm -hmm. and you, you are free from sickness and disease. Oh, that's very important, Miss Anjana. Yes, Jenna. it's very important at this phase where we are staying in pandemic era. That is true. Okay, and the next one would be stomach ache and diarrhea. Oh, no. Stomach ache and diarrhea. So if uh, Hanif is eating at Bob Fried Chicken, so you might get stomach ache and diarrhea, Hanif. And I can't do any more Zumba classes. No, after not that. at all. Oh. Okay, the next one would be filthy and unhygienic. Hmm. Filthy and unhygienic. Okay, filthy is when the place is dirty. Okay, like I did say, Bob Fried Chicken has a lot of flies and the food is not covered. Okay, let's look at the next one, which is used cans and bottles. Used cans and bottles. I repeat these phrases. The first one is clean and healthy, mm -hmm. food and beverages, well-being. And the next one is stomach ache and diarrhea, 
filthy and unhygienic used cans and bottles. Used okay, cans now we are going to use these phrases in a task. Okay, let's look at the task first. And I'm sure my friends at home as well, get your papers and pens ready. Yes, okay. Complete the closed text using the words or phrases given. Alright, let's look at the... Okay, let's look at the picture oh. here. Wow. Oh no. Oh it no. It looks like a it mess. Looks, yes, very messy. Okay, pupils there. Would you want to eat in a place like this? Or buy food from a place like this? Hmm. So Maybe, oh, I see all those no, no and the faces. Everyone is shaking their heads, yeah. Okay, you shouldn't. You shouldn't buy or eat food from such place. Right, let's look at the... Okay, this is a text. Look at the text. Okay, we are, uh, what I want all of you to do is use the phrases which we have learnt earlier to fill in the blanks. So there are blanks and, in this text. Yeah. Uh, do you remember the words or the phrases that we have learnt? All of them? So we see them nodding, nodding. Okay, that, that's good. Okay. Anyway, I'll be giving you the words down there. So what you have to do is fill the blanks using all the phrases that we have learnt. Okay, show me your mini whiteboards. Mini whiteboards, okay, your clean mini whiteboards. Oh, very Can nice. Can we start with the first one? This is a kitchen in a school canteen. It looks so... Okay, what do you think the answer is? Can we have a volunteer? And pupils out there, you too there. try to answer this. Question. Rabiatol is volunteering. Okay, Rabiatol. Can we have Rabiatol first? Rabiatol? The first one. It looks. Messy. Please write down the answer in your board. Messy. You have the answer there? Messy? Oh. Okay, Rabiatol. That's a very good answer. Uh, but Rabiatol, uh, which answer would you choose from the answers given oh, there? Open. Clean and healthy. Food and beverages, well-being, stomach ache and diarrhea, filthy and unhygienic, used cans and bottles. Which which of these phrases will fit into the first one? Do you want Rabiato? Yes. Okay. Can I have uh, maybe a uh, okay Rabiato? Okay. What will you answer? Clean and healthy. The first one, it looks so clean and healthy. Uh, no. Do you want to try again? Okay, let's give another person a chance okay. first. Uh, then maybe Rabiatul, Rabia we can get back to Rabiatul later. Yes. Okay, can we have uh, maybe Kavya? Kavya, what do you think the answer is for the first one? Filthy and hi uh, unhygienic. Hmm. Okay, can you read? Very good. Okay, yes. Kavya, could you please read the whole sentence? It looks so filthy and unhygienic. Yes, this is a kitchen in a school canteen. It looks so filthy and unhygienic. Wow. Excellent. How many stars yes. she get? Okay, we and shall give her maybe one. Kavya one, will be two. Two. Well, Let's oh, give her more stars. Three stars. Wow. I think three. She deserves three stars. Well done, Kaveh. You got well three done. stars. And we have more answers after this. Okay, so I'm sure my friends at home are already my pupils online as well. Please write your answers down. Read the sentences because we're going to take a short break and make sure when we come back, your answers are ready. So stay tuned with us on d -Date TV KPM. been on the planet for more than 3.5 billion years, making them the oldest known life form on Earth. 
3.5 billion years bacteria have been around. Wow, welcome back on the Date TV KPM. My name is Hanif Sean, and today on level two slot for English, we are learning about staying safe and staying healthy. And before our break, our two teachers, Miss Tulsi and Miss Anjana, we were exploring this text that we would like, we have left some parts blank because we would like our friends at home, our pupils online to answer and put the phrases, the accurate phrases. So shall we continue with the text? Yeah, of course, uh, Hanif. Okay, um, the first one, um, Kavya has done the first one. This is a kitchen in a school canteen. It looks so filthy and unhygienic. Okay, mm. can we continue with the second one? Any volunteers there? Yes, Joshna. Yes, Joshna. Joshna. There are... Joshna? Is Use your... cans and bottles everywhere. Uh, yes, Joshna, Floor. thank you. Could, could you read the whole sentence, please? There are... Yes. There are used cans and bottles everywhere on the floor. Very well good, done. Joshna. Very good answer. Okay, the second one. You shouldn't buy... Can we have another volunteer? How about Zarfan? Zarfan, do you want to do it? Ah, we have oh. Arish as Arish well volunteering. Is, yes. Okay. Uh, maybe Arish. Okay. Arish? Hmm. Food and beverages. Very good. Harish, could you please read the whole sentence? You shouldn't. You shouldn't buy food and beverages. From this? From this. From this canteen. From this canteen. Very well good. done. Wow. You okay. shouldn't buy food and beverages from this canteen. It could cost you... Hmm. It could cost you... And do we have a volunteer? Yes, we. I think we do. It could cost you... Uh-huh. Okay, Sarah. 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 Yes, Sarah. Share is your answer. It could cost you stomach ache. And? And? And diarrhea. And diarrhea. Very, Very good. good. Uh, Sarah, could you read the sentence again? It could cost you? It could cost you stomach ache and diarrhea. Yes, very well good. Done. Very well good. Done. Okay, the next one. You should eat food. You should eat blank food. Hmm. Okay, I see Zarfan there. Zarfan? Yes, Zarfan. What is your answer? Zarfan, we, could, we couldn't... We can't hear you. You should eat... Please unmute your mic, Zarfan. Yes, unmute your mic, Zarfan. You shall eat clean and healthy. Healthy food. You should yes. eat clean and healthy food. food. Very good. Yes, very good. true. Good. Very Excellent. Excellent. Okay, and the last sentence for this close text. Ah. It is important for your... Blank. Yes. Arish? Yes, Arish. Okay, let's have Arish again. Well being. Harish, mm. very good. Could you please read the whole sentence? It is important for you for, for, for your, your oh. for your well being. Excellent. Wow. Excellent. Well done. Do, do you get stars for all their correct yes, answers? Yes, definitely. How many stars shall we give them? How many stars? Hanif? I think they all answered accurately. Most they of answered the answers? Yes. Very quick as well. Yes. How many stars do you think they deserve, Mr. Mm. Tosin? Hmm. Okay, hmm. I think I'll choose three stars oh. for them. Wow, so three Seems... stars for each of you and three stars for my friends at home as well who answered yes. correctly. Well done to all of you. Good yeah. job. I, I guess all of them have done very well. Student pupils out there and the pupils watching here have answered all the answers correctly. And do not forget to refer to my uh, to Sumberku for extra activities, for enrichment activities. Yes, that's yes. very important. And shall we have a summary of what we have learned today, Miss Anjana? Of course. Okay, so we have achieved both the objectives, which are uh, the first one, remember? 
construct sentences using should or shouldn't based on the pictures given. And there's a tick here. So you have achieved it. And the second one, complete the closed text using the words or phrases given. Yes. And there's a tick as well. So they have achieved the objectives. You have achieved the learning objectives today. And Miss Anjana, could you repeat again if they would like to study more? Where can they refer to? They should refer to Sumberku. They should okay, for the extra enrichment activities, they can get it there. Yes, yes. so you can refer to Sumberku, the link that you're seeing on your screen now for you to explore more on what we have learned today. And of course, our two teachers, they have also prepared a song. Ah, it's not just an ending that we're going to have like normal, so we're going to sing a song together. Yes, yes. What is this song about? <laughs> okay, okay, let's sing a song. So The title of the song is Stay Safe. Since the topic is staying safe and healthy, so we'll be singing about stay safe. Okay, ah, shall we start? That's great. So the name of the song is Staying Safe. And before we sing, you will see the lyrics on your screen yes. soon. But before that, again, I would like to thank our two amazing teachers and their Miss Anjana Prem Kumajut from SK Puchong Utama Dua Puchong Selangor. As well as Ms. Tulasi Viswanathan from SK1, Batu Empat Jalan Ipoh, Kuala Lumpur. And definitely, our peoples online and they are Joshna, Arish, Kavya, Zarfan, Rabiatul, as well as Sarah Shuhada. They are from five different schools all over Malaysia. All of you have been amazing. To my friends, the pupils at home, all of you have done a good job as well. I'm sure you are busy writing answers and marking each answer according to the answers that our teachers gave. Are you ready to sing? I'm sure you're ready to sing, so always stay tuned with Didate TV KPM. My name is Hanif Sean, and I hope to see you again. And let's sing along. Let's have our music. Okay. When we play in, in the park, in the park, in the park, remember always safety first. Be careful not to get hurt. This is the way we play on the slide, play on the slide, play on the slide. Wait in line and take my turn, sliding is really fun. This is the way we play on the swing, play on the swing, play on the swing. Hold on tight and sing straight, swinging is really fun.